It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Is it live? Yes, it is live. Hey, Fred Moore here. Today we're going to be talking about free time and how it's not free. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you this free time. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it's going to cost you and how you can get it. Coming up soon. Welcome, good to see you, good to see you back. Uh, once again, Fred Moore, speaker, entertainer, and uh, bold guy. Uh, uh, I, I can't say I've always been a bold guy, but it's been a long time. I think I've been bold for quite, I've been going bold for quite some time and all that, but I know that doesn't really, you know, you don't care if I've been going bold or whatever, you know. Today, we're gonna talk about free time. It ain't free. Sorry to tell you, it is not free. See, free time is that thing we're all looking for, right? If I only I had some free time, if I had some free time, I'd be able to do this. I'd be able to do that. There's a meme that's been going around on Facebook for quite a while, uh, and it goes back 2019. If only I had like a week to do nothing, I could really organize my house and get things all straightened out. And then fast forward 2020. Nope, that wasn't the problem. I guess it's me, right? Because we're all under lockdown last year around this time yeah yeah all right free time is something that you need to look for you need to actually earn that free time i know you have to earn the free time what do i mean by this it means that the time that you have that you're using that's not free time which is work or play or whatever it is you're doing in this time that you have you need to use that time better Right? If you want free time, then you have to get better use out of the time that you have that you're using. For instance, if you're working or if you're wasting your time, right? That, that's, I'm not going to go into time wasters. That'll probably be another broadcast. But the time that you're using right now, how are you using it? Are you getting the most bang for your buck? Are you getting things done as efficiently as you possibly can? Right? Are you getting two hours work out of 45 minutes, right? What normally would take you two hours, you're chunking it down, you're crunching it down so you can actually get it done in 45 minutes. Yeah, that's how you earn the free time, by using the time that you are using right now better, more wisely, smarter, working harder, thinking right, getting systems in place, tracking the time that you have. That is how you're gonna earn that free time see it doesn't cost that much just time ironically enough yeah think about it now how do you do that well schedule that time right that time that you are using right now for work for leisure whatever schedule it see where your time is going to fit into your schedule what tasks do you need to do when do you need to do it and schedule it because trust me you schedule it it's probably going to get done I'm not going to say for certain because I don't know you. I've scheduled stuff and then be like, nope, something else came up. I can't do that. But you are more likely to get this task done if you schedule it. And you schedule a start time and an end time. Now you know during this period of time what you're doing. Right? Because you can start working on a task and instead of it's like, oh, this will take me 30 minutes. Two and a half hours later, you're like, I'm still working on it. What's going on? What's going on? Because you're going for that perfection. You're trying to, nah, start, finish, start, finish. Put it on a schedule. And that way, you're going to use that time better. You're going to use it smarter. You're going to use it more wisely. And then you'll have that time for the free time. Yeah, because if you can get two and a half hours work done in 45 minutes, you've got uh, to, uh, carry the seven and you've got more time left over is what I'm saying and you've got that precious Risha precious my precious the resource called time and do me a favor the third point is treasure that time treasure that free time that you've earned that you've created because this is something you've done right they, I always say there's no such thing as time management. You can't manage time. You can only manage yourself. And if you manage yourself and how you use your time, guess what? 
you're going to have that free time. And that free time is so valuable to you because not a lot of people get it, right? Not a lot of people have that free time that they can just like, I'm going to lay on the couch for an hour and watch TV. Now, some of you do that anyway, and you don't have that free time. And you should be doing something else. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not pointing. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not pointing fingers at me. I've reduced that a lot. But now you have this free time. Think, how are you going to use this free time? All right, don't just sit there and go, what am I going to do for an hour? No, plan something for this free time that you've earned. Use it as a reward. All right, I've gotten a lot of work done. I've chunked it down. I've made the best use of my time. Now I've got a whole hour. What am I going to do with this hour? It may be, I'm going to lay in the hammock and enjoy the sun. That's a great use of an hour, I think. It, just as long as you know you don't do it every day for six hours at a time. Hey, you know, if that's your job, that's great. Good for you, man. Good for you. But treasure that time, right? Plan. What am I going to do with this free time? Am I going to spend it with the kids? Am I going to go on a walk with my wife, my husband, my spouse, my lover, my neighbor, my whatever? Think about this free time that you have. Schedule it, right? Plan ahead. Schedule like, hey, this is my free time. This is the time that, and I'm going to do some stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to decide when six o'clock happens, when it's scheduled that that's my free time, right? That's the time I'm going to hang out with my kid. That's the time I'm going to pet the dog. That's the time I'm going to take a shower because I haven't in six days because I'm just so busy. So earn that time that you have, right? Schedule it and treasure that free time that you have created because you're a time master, a master of time. You can travel through time. You want to shut the doors if you do that. You want to definitely. Okay. You know what? If you want to get some of your time back, some more of your time back, I should say, then do me a favor. I want you to go right here. Right there, fivehoursback.com. Fivehoursback.com. You're going to give me your name and email. It doesn't even have to be your real name or email. Just one that you check from time to time, right? Use that fake email that you always, when you sign up for stuff, use that one. All right? But if you do give me your real email, you're going to get more stuff besides what you're going to get there. On that uh, page that you're going to get after you sub click the old submit button, you're going to get uh, a link to download a PDF that's going to help you save an average of five hours every single week. Five hours in your week that could be free time, could be work time, could be play time, whatever. There's also a few videos on that page that will help you accelerate your productivity. They're called uh, productivity accelerator videos. Yeah, it's not rocket science, right? Not too original, but that's fine. Uh, and then there's a, a few other things on that page too. Plus, I'll be able to email you from time to time. I'm not going to spam you with a whole bunch of stuff about the, when the latest video comes up, uh, things that are happening, just useful tips for you to reduce your stress, manage your time and self better, and do so much more. That's it for now. I will see you next week. Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday when I scheduled to put these out. Uh, if you're checking this out on YouTube, do me a favor, subscribe. That will be alerted the next time I do a live or a video gets posted there. If you're watching this on Facebook, hit, hit the like button. Do that on YouTube too. I know, just you know, like, share, you know the drill. This is not your first time on social media, is it? I don't think so. I don't think this is your first time. Like, share, spread the love. Tell your friends. Help them get some of that free time back in their lives too. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Roll that clip.